Hello, YouTube. Hello, YouTube. Let's wait till we get a few people in here. Hope everyone's doing well. Little live feed here on the nice rainy night here on the East Coast. Hey, everybody. Got a few people in here. Let's get a few more in here. Rainy, nasty day here on the farm. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Got up early, early this morning and went and took care of the goats and went out and took care of all the critters and got some hay up and piled it up so that we could get those goats moved soon. So, a lot of stuff going on. Welcome, everybody. Hello, Dutch. Dutch is in the house. So, guys, uh, what, uh, what I wanted to do is talk to you a little bit tonight uh, about my feelings. Uh, I don't know if you guys keep up with Wrangler Star, but I do. Uh, he's, a, he's a friend. He's a very nice man. I'd like to, first of all, give a thanks to Cody at Wrangler Star for, for giving me... Uh, the motivation to do these videos really uh if it wasn't for this guy right here that we're watching behind us uh and he's talking about some some bashing that's been going on on youtube if it wasn't for this guy right here you would not have stony ridge farmer okay so thanks a lot guys take the time right now 240 of you click the like button click the like button bring it bring it okay so well, what I'm here to talk to you about is what Wrangler Star said, what Cody said. Um, there's been a lot of uh, homesteader bashing going on, I guess. Between homestead channels, uh, there's been a whole lot of uh, silliness. I think Dutch, uh, with Keeping It Dutch, he's a good friend of mine. And I think he did some silliness, and I think it actually brought more good than it did bad to... Uh, to uh dutch i'm spacing their name right now tell me what it is pure living for life there we go so i think clark carroll thank you for the 20 dollars super chat awesome so dutch brought something to the table for those guys and brought a discussion out that i think a lot of folks uh don't know about and it's the fake homesteading thing that seems to be a trend uh, if you guys haven't noticed, anybody and everybody is trying to start... Thank you, Mr. Wood, for your super chat, by the way. Anybody and everybody's trying to start a homestead or a homestead channel. Now, just what Wrangler Star here was saying, what Cody was saying, is that the homestead is what you want it to be. And you're right, Dutch. I think a lot of people took your video wrong. Dutch is a good-hearted, veteran, nice fella. If you're not subscribed to Keeping It Dutch, check him out. When you get done here, check him out. He's a good dude. If not for Keeping It Dutch, I would not be here either. I've been down to his house in Oklahoma and uh, Arms Family Homestead also. Uh, two good dudes. So, what the world has come to in my mind is a group of people against 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 a group of people and the whole world has been fooled by this fake hatred for one another and guys it's not real i i don't know you know i don't care what your political beliefs are or what your religion is and i think we've talked about this before but it's about you and the quality of person you are and who you want to be and who you project, uh, what you project about yourself. Hopefully I project a positive image about myself to you folks and hopefully you project that positive image on and pass that positive image on. When you leave a comment on YouTube videos and it's a bad, negative, hateful comment, um, it, it does no good whatsoever. It really does no good. All it does is take away from the positive thoughts and the positive hard work that uh, that a guy is trying to do here. So um, I just wanted to make mention of that tonight. I, I saw Wrangler Star's video. It's going on right now. When you get done here, check it out. Um, Cody has been a huge help. Thank you so much for for... He's never really mentioned me or anything, but... I'm going to mention him because he has been a huge help and a huge inspiration for me. 
another thing being said, we picked up a sponsor here on the Stony Ridge Farm, which is super duper awesome. So in the next probably, I'm going to say tomorrow's video, we'll introduce the new sponsor to Stony Ridge Farmer, and it's totally unlikely, guys. So uh, very unlikely sponsor. Um, that's what YouTube's about. If you if you don't like the idea of a channel having a sponsor, then I'm sorry. But YouTubers get sent some free stuff. Tomorrow I'm putting on a light bar on my gator. I, by the way, the gator is getting straight up pimped out. I got a light bar. I got two new grips. I got a rifle uh, mount for it. And I got a ooga horn. So <laughs> we're going to have some fun uh, with tomorrow's video. Hopefully I can get done with all that stuff put all of it on and get the gator all pimped out. <laughs> I'm going to be the gator guy now. I don't I don't mean to be the gator guy. Thanks for calling me a redneck there, Clark Carroll. It makes me feel strong. Okay? Guys, 272 people in here. I thank you so much for coming to join me. I just wanted to say there has been so much negativity in this world so much of the media has pit each person whether color whether race whether religion whether creed whether uh political beliefs we're all fake against each other don't fall for that crap okay just don't fall for it it's not real it's not who you are it's not real life don't fall for this bashing don't fall for this fake media attacks upon each other just be brothers and sisters and, and live and love each other and be positive, okay? Thanks. Thanks a lot, guys. Come on back and see us here on the Stony Ridge Farm tomorrow. We're going to have a video. We're going to be stuffing a whole bunch of stuff and pimping out the gator. And we'll unveil who the sponsor is. And you'll watch me do a funny commercial for somebody that isn't going to work. Everybody says don't go. <laughs> what do you want to talk about? Let's answer a question or two. First question, do I watch Trailer Park Boys? Yes, that's a, that's a good question. <laughs> Does anybody here watch Trailer Park Boys? <laughs> Boy, things are going fast. How are the goats? The goats are doing good. I'm going to sell some goats, by the way, guys. If you're interested in purchasing a goat, what we're going to do is we're going to sell the adult goats for $125. We're going to sell the uh, an adult and one baby for $200, an adult and two babies for $225, and that's it. If you're interested, leave me a, a private message. Send me a private message on the YouTube channel if you're a close-by guy. Uh, or gal and you're wanting some goats that's what we'll do that's the prices so uh, everything's doing good there of course trailer park boys are canadian yes they are are the goats meat goats or milk goats the goats are lawnmower goats i i i'm not killing them for meat because they're small they're like a pygmy goat mix with a fainting goat so some of them are fainting some of them are pygmies but i use them to to do weed control and brush control so that's what the goats are for um guys if i didn't get to you on the super chat i wonder if i can tap this and tell who did it i can't thank you so much all you folks that have super chatted it's 27 bucks for me just talking to you it's very flattering i appreciate it north country off grid hey guys good to see you um that's another channel that uh, we'll be talking about probably in the next day or two. North Country Off Grid. Those guys are living off grid in a cold place. Good gracious. Never in a million years could I even fathom moving to northern Idaho and living in a frigid place in a home built house. Um, that North Country Off Grid, those folks. Check their channel out. They uh, they actually have a special on the DIY network next week sometime. Uh, I don't know the exact date and time, but they'll have it posted on their channel. Uh, it shows them building their off-grid home, so that's really cool. Um, Colorado Mountain Living. Guys, go check them out. That's the real deal right there, okay? Those guys are just getting started, just getting their feet in the door. They're building a home. Really, really smart people. Very, very intelligent people. Um, just really, really smart, hardworking, good people. I just want to make mention of those guys. 
And I'm not gonna put the 20s on the uh, old farm truck, James. James is asking for the putting the 20. Or am I a veteran too? Yes, I'm a veteran. Also an Air Force veteran. Um, so, Mrs. Stony Ridge is a very pretty girl. Yes, she is a very pretty girl. Thank you. I'm just gonna read these comments. You guys are are saying uh, let's let's give me uh someone give me a good question here and i'll answer that and we'll get on out of here okay um i still have uh, if you guys have seen the hog videos i still have hog scrapers uh if you haven't seen those videos it's a three-part series on how we uh, did a appalachian hog kill um and now we make the hams and all that stuff probably in about two weeks or so we'll go take the hams out of the salt box and that'll be really interesting you can see uh, the salt uh, operation where we pull the salt, pull the hams out of the salt and wipe them off, rub them down with liquid smoke and hang them in the smokehouse uh, to cure out for 18 months, I do believe. Um, someone just asked, how old am I? 35, that's what they asked. Now, thank you, but I'm 40 now. <laughs> um, 40. So, 305 people here. The longer I stay on, the more people, the more I want to talk, the more I want to ramble. So, any new gun that I want to buy. I, the gun I want to buy right now is a 22 rifle to keep on the Gator so I can pop a coyote if he comes at me or if he comes at my livestock. So, um, Travis Freeman asked if I hunt. I live on a 200 acre farm in North Carolina, buddy. Yes. The meat in my freezer is not beef. It's deer meat. Okay. Well, there might be some hamburger in there. You're not getting notifications. Click the bell, buddy. I'm sorry. My Air Force job. So currently, uh, my job, I'm a registered nurse, okay? And my job in the Air Force, I was a electrician. So I got my journeyman electrician uh, degree, I guess, in the Air Force. I got out of the Air Force and I started a small business. I started a handyman business. I lived in Ogden, Utah. Started a handyman business called Mr. Fix-It Handyman Services. And basically just did all the little odd jobs that nobody wanted to do. And I was 21 years old and I started that business. And within three weeks of opening the business, I got a call from a hotel. And they wanted me to remodel the entire hotel. I had no idea what to say at all. Um, so... I said, yes, let me try it. So I priced each room out and they paid me room by room and I remodeled an entire hotel and I didn't know what the heck I was doing, but by the end of it, I was a drywall master. So, and now I'm a registered nurse. So what happened with the uh, nursing thing versus the maintenance kind of thing? Cause, cause I worked with my hands a whole lot before I became a nurse uh, and I still do as a nurse, but I worked with my brain a little bit too. So what drove what the driving factor behind going to get my RN uh, was 9-11. Uh, so 9-11, my business was doing great. Uh, right before 9-11, I was laying tile. I was putting in a, a, a shower. Uh, I was putting in a tile shower that day when 9-11 happened. And I had no idea the impact that that was going to have on my life, on my business, on my world. I was already going to college uh, because I knew... I needed to go on and get a degree. I got my GI Bill and I was going to Weber State University in Ogden, Utah. Uh, so if there's any Utah folks out there, I sure do miss it out there. Anyhow, uh, so when 9-11 hit, I didn't have any work for close to six months. Um, so I rented a car and I drove from Canada to Mexico, up, up and down California coast. So that was pretty cool. Pretty, pretty interesting time there. Um, so that's what the driving factor was from going from working with my hands construction to working in the hospital, um, uh, helping heal the sick. And I think, uh, being a nurse is a very honorable, honorable, uh, position in life for sure. Uh, it's very stressful at times, especially, uh, you know, I work in intensive care. Thank you, Runaway Acres, for your, uh, super chat, buddy. I appreciate it. Um, somebody's late Trenton Taylor you're late to the show buddy I am going to sell the goats uh, leave me a, a uh, 
personal comment down there if you want to not a personal a uh, uh leave me a comment down there how to contact you and i'll i'll sell goats okay buddy electrician to nursing yep it fits perfectly yeah i've had to shock people <laughs> well guys i think it's getting mighty quiet i think i better go how do i cook deer meat maybe one day we'll do a uh a, a show on how i cook deer meat i process my deer meat a little bit different than most folks too uh and it helps take the gamey taste out of the deer but deer around here really don't have that much of a gamey type flavor so um all right guys so stay tuned tomorrow we'll be posting a video i'll be putting a bunch of junk on the gator to pimp it out got a big old hillbilly uh led light bar i'm gonna put on that thing got uh, a couple mounts for shovels and guns and stuff like that and something to hold my tripod on there uh everybody 209 likes right now give me some likes give me those thumbs up before we get off here this weekend you're in for a treat i do believe saturday uh i'm gonna put it to a vote of how i should get that lawnmower off the back of the truck so some people have told me i need to back up about 40 miles an hour and slam on the brakes and let that lawnmower fly off so we're gonna put it to a vote tomorrow on the video i thank you a whole lot for watching guys Come on back and see me. I appreciate all your super chats and all your support. 347 of you. It's very impressive. Thanks a lot. And remember, just be nice to each other. Okay? We don't have to be against each other. We don't have to butt heads all the time. Just be fun. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for all the thumbs up. We'll see you next time. Woo! <laughs>